Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the white chocolate covered apples I'm doing. The colors are white, black, and red. Okay. This is what they look like when they're done. This is what they look like when they're dipped without the stripes on them. And just to put the stripes on them, I put chocolate in a piping bag. And just cut the little tip off and just put the little lines all over it and make it look super cute. All right, I already have my chocolate melted. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. Okay. So I'm going to take one of my apples here. The apple has been cleaned. That's why it looks like this. This was a green apple, but once you take the um, wax off it looks like this if you need to know how to take the wax off just watch one of my videos I have two videos up there showing you how to clean your apples all right this is simple because it's just chocolate melt your chocolate I like to use this little soup bowl I got from a dollar store Dollar Tree one dollar it's perfect for melting your chocolate in microwave safe and all you're gonna do is just submerge your apple in the chocolate making sure you don't spill it and you just keep turning it into it's sealed okay you want that hole closed up all around the entire apple the stem close it and then just shake it to get the excess chocolate off all right You want to close it make sure your apple is closed and then you're just gonna gently wipe it on the edge so it's nice and clean and place it down and let it dry and there you go so we'll take another apple and do the same thing just dip it you can dip it all the way in but you just want to Make sure it's closed and take it and give it a shake. You want all the excess chocolate to fall off. Go across the edge very lightly so it's nice and neat and place it down to dry. Let's get another apple. Same thing. Dip it all the way in. Now that the chocolate, some of it is gone, it's easy just to put the whole thing in. See, closes up nicely. You want to shake it real good because it gets rid of all those air bubbles and the excess chocolate comes off. And it looks super cute. You can do any color you want, any paper straw. And for the paper straw, you want to make sure you buy the sticks, the 5 mm sticks. Because if you get the 5.5 mm stick, which is this stick here, this is the 5 mm stick, it's not going to fit over the straw. The 5 mm, you don't want the 5.5. That was the 5.5 I just showed you. It does not, the straw does not fit over it, okay? It does not fit over it. You need the 5 and your paper straw will fit over it very easily because you got to have a stick before you put the straw over it because you want it to be you need that stick in there because the paper would just break it's a paper straw it's not sturdy so you're just going to shake 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 Gently go on the edge and place it down. This is super easy. I'm going to keep going, guys. Just wanted to show you what I was doing. I'm going to keep dipping the rest of my apples. This is how they come out. You can leave them plain like this. You can make them look like that. Whatever you want, just make sure it's completely dry first before you um, put the stripes on. So just leave it. It doesn't take long to dry. Make sure you get the 5 mm sticks, not the 5.5. .5. 
anything that's 5.5 mm 6 mm the paper straw will not fit over it it has to be 5 mm or smaller for it to fit in there and you can see what I'm talking about you see the stick is inside there and then you put your straw right over it any color you want to do all right thanks for watching cooking with Sharice sweet pea sugar shack y'all